Hey everybody, welcome back. You ready for this fight with Balder? Let's do it. Get over here. Ooh. And now Freya is trying to get involved because we're beating her little son. Well, your son's a jerk, so we gotta take care of business. Ah, this is such a drag. No. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. What? Ruin my. Send the dogs out. <laughs> Ooh. 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 So you're not going to stop him? Turn away, boy. This won't be pretty. I won't let you hurt him. No, boy. Fine. Stop! Ooh! No! Atreus! You're bleeding. Knock the breath breathe. right out of him. Breathe! Not my blood. <clears throat> And looky here, that mistletoe that Kratos used to put to together his uh, bow and arrow thing. I can feel the mistletoe this. is the the break of the curse. So now we know why Freya freaked out when she saw the mistletoe arrows in the first place. Yes, now he's gonna feel this bow weapon. Vulnerable now. So could you imagine not feeling anything for that long and then all of a sudden you can feel again? Uh, Freya, what are you doing? Now I can't see anything. What's going on? Is Freya trying to kill us? No. Do you hear the wind? We are moving. That air. Vulgar bunch. The mistletoe? In the quiver strap, yes. The mistletoe harmed him. Freya said it was wicked. He's more than harmed. The spell is broken. He can be killed. I'm certain of it. It's all coming the mirror's back getting now. into it. Now he remembers. <laughs> yeah, he's a little bit late, Atreus. Ow. Is she controlling that thing? Stay out of it. I can reason with him. No, no you woman. can't. You cannot. He means to kill you. Okay. Not let him die. Now touch it. This will all be over soon. Where you at? There. Well, get him. There we go. You will stop this now. Incredible. If I don't. Boink. <laughs> ah, really? Block. What are you doing? There you go. Ooh. I feel. Okay, that's a little creepy. Stop hurting my boy. He's hurting me. Weapons last time. Ooh. There we go. Ooh. Get him, Atreus. Like how he has like the arrows just stuck in his face. Okay. 
take some of that. Shoot it. There we go. Oh, oh. Ow. Atreus. I'm up here. I'm okay. And I'm doing wonderful. I never felt so No one cared. me <laughs> uh oh get out of the way I got something for you boulder come here can you send the dogs a trace can you send the dogs I guess not oh Yoink. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Nice throw. Ow. That looked like it hurt. <laughs> okay. This guy cannot focus on one task at a time. He's jumping back and forth constantly. Jump boy! Stay away from my son! You don't have to do this! Yes, I do. The plot demands it. There. Stop him! Get him, boy. <laughs> nice shot. <laughs> Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, Shut that's what you get. Up. Ooh. Nice, some, you know, some good teamwork right there. <laughs> oh God! Before you die, I want to thank you. Some for you. There we go. I got some for you. Come here. Ah, 
Well, tell your son to stop first! <laughs> Come here. I can. If, if your mom would actually do something to. Where you at? Ooh, there we go. No, not 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 that but. There we go. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, why'd you change? I got something. I got something for you. Mmm. Mmm. Waffle combo. Beat the mess out of him, Kratos. Don't apologize for nothing. Why? Nah. <laughs> Jormungandr to save the day. Yes, you do. He's gonna let your son dang near kill you like that. Like he's he's wanting to kill you. made mistakes I know but you're free now you have what you want try to find forgiveness we can build something new no. No. We can. Baldy you need to really let that stuff go I will never Lifetime that you stole from me. I have paid. I have paid. But if that alone will make you whole. What is up with this parenting? Come on. We'll make things right. Balder is well over 150 years old. And he's still acting like a child. Like, it just shows to prove that adults don't have their lives together. <laughs> I know. So you just go let him... Oh. She's just gonna let her... Let him kill her. Just gonna let him kill her. I love you. I But Kratos says no. <laughs> Why do you even care? You, you could have walked away. The cycle ends here. Must be better than this. Crunch. No, 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 my boy! My 
dear sweet boy. Freya, he chose this. I will rain down every agony, every violation imaginable. Oh my goodness. I will parade your cold body from every corner of every realm and feed your soul to the vilest filth in hell. That is my promise. He saved your life. He robbed me of everything. <laughs> you know, a, a simple thank you would have been nice, Freya. <laughs> your son was a bit of a jerk. Did you already forget that he was ready to kill you? Passing on your cruelty and rage, you will never change. And you do not know me. I know enough. Does he? Boy. Listen close. Uh-oh. I am from a land called Sparta. I made a deal with a god that cost me my soul. I killed many who were deserving. And many who were not. I killed my father. Dun dun dun. That was your father in hell. Is this what it is to be a god? Is this what it always ends? Sons killing their mothers? Their fathers? No. We will be the gods we choose to be. Not those who have been. Who I was is not who you will be. We must be better. And Freya's like, oh, that's nice and all, but you still killed my son. <laughs> I feel bad for Freya. I mean, she's been through a lot. She finally sees her son the first time in like a hundred years. Yes, we are the bad guys now. And he dies. <laughs> in her eyes, yes. But she could never make that choice. We should finish this journey while I still have strength. And lo and behold, Kratos just explained everything to Atreus that he had been trying to hide from Atreus for about the last 12 years of Atreus' existence. I, I know saving her was the right thing. But she seemed all evil at the end. Not evil. You killed her son, lad. Her son. Mm. The death of a child is not something a parent gets over easily. But he was gonna kill her. She would have died to see him live. Only a parrot can understand. So you'd let me kill you? If it meant you would live. Yes. Look, there was no easy choice. For anybody, brother. But I think we can all agree you did the right thing. The world's a better place with Freya in it. Just give her time, lass. She'll come around. Back. I certainly hope you're right, Mimir. <laughs> All right, so now we have to go to the bridge. Uh, what, should we just fast travel? To Tyr's temple, then. One last time. Hi. Jotunheim awaits. To Jotunheim. To Jotunheim would bring a cure. Lies, I'm sure. Why did Mistletoe break the spell? That your magic is powerful, but its rules are slippery and elusive. I'm sure it makes sense if you're a witch. <laughs> oh, but it's also bloody tragic. Balder was the greatest gift Odin granted Freya. The one thing she treasured from their marriage. She only hoped to spare him pain and spare herself loss. But such impulses can lead good parents to make terribly stupid decisions. Yeah. 
Mimir ain't wrong there. He's definitely not wrong. Which, you know, I really do feel bad for Freya because, I mean, that was her only kid. You know, just like Mimir was saying, the only thing from her and Odin's marriage that she legitimately cared about. And just because of a decision that she was afraid to lose him, he, she granted him the spell of invulnerability and and uh, and can't die. And in the sense, you know, that was great for Balder, but he didn't really appreciate that. So, all right, to Jotunheim, let's do this. Here we go. I can't believe we're gonna see the giants. Well, if things work according to plan, <coughs> go ahead and lock in Jotunheim, and we'll be on our way. Probably. Be patient. Be patient. Vanaheim, Winsfulheim, Niflheim, Asgard. Farthelheim, Helheim, Alfheim. Yo, I should have went left. <laughs> I always do that. But all right, now that we have both of Mimir's eyes, Boy, now we can get this party ready. started. Get ready. Oh, right. Got it. Let's hope this doesn't cause you to explode or anything. Oh. I haven't considered that. <laughs> I think we should talk about this a bit more. Nah, I'm sure you'll be fine. <laughs> I'm sure he was like, nope, you're good. Oh, that's unpleasant. Now, boy. I think we did it. Must be close. Well, what are we waiting for? Think it's far? We will see. Jotunheim. We made it, ladies and gents. I want please before we continue. Listen, the last thing you two need up there is a decomposing heat ruin in the moment. Why don't I wait for you here? This is between you and the boy. True. But if someone wants to fight... My lady sips soft, perfect sloshers. <laughs> you done did it. Sorry. We had to see this. We got, what are you crying for, Sindri? <laughs> oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, fine, damn it. Fine. Watch the head till we return. I can do this. No, no, I can't. Oh. Okay. Ready. Come. Uh, now we are in Jotunheim, ladies and gents. We finally made it. Now we can spread phase ashes. You can see the light it is at the top. Does that bridge look familiar? Look, we're on the giant's fingers. I can see the highest peak ahead, right over there. We did it. We did. What are you doing? Nothing more to hide. Can we go now? We're so close. Boy. <laughs> 
Boy, I'm trying to have a moment. <laughs> When I meant, is that bridge familiar? You remember when the, in Alfheim, uh, Kratos stepped into the light? Mm. This is that same Boy. bridge that he Excellent. heard his wife singing on and Atreus pulled him out. Hello? Anybody here? What is this place? They must have all come through here when they left Midgard. What was left of them. Why carve all these faces? What if this is all the giants that got out of Midgard alive? Not really many at all. Mm. Odin and Thor ruining everything for everybody. Where are they now? Them? The giants came back home so they could survive. But I'm not sure they did. Huh. Who's the guardian? Hmm. Very interesting. I should feel them, but I don't. This place is dead. What happened to them? Why'd Mom send us here? One question is answered, and two more take its place. going on it's your axe it's smaller look she's arguing with a bunch of giants she new giants It's us. The first time we met the world serpent. But how? <laughs> and our fight with Balder. But that just happened. Wait. They knew everything that was going to happen. The dragon in the mountain. The stone mason. All these drawings. This is our story. No. This is your story. But... What does it all mean? That I was not the only parent with secrets. You didn't know. She was a giant. Dun dun dun. Why didn't she tell us? She sent us here knowing we would find this. But why not just tell us the truth? Her mother would have had good reasons. Balder was never sent to find me. Hmm. He was tracking her all along, not knowing she was only ashes. If she had a plan for us, I trust <laughs> you. Whatever it is. Yep. Besides, she hasn't been wrong yet. Come on. We're so close to the end now. 
Yes. Yes, we are. So, in case you didn't follow, uh, Faye is a giant, and not even Kratos knew that. So, that means that Atreus is part mortal, part god, Look, and part giant. It's mother. Uh, so, I don't know if you recognize... Okay, she you know these symbols right here? We've seen them throughout the game. Like she was always with us. Watching over us. Leading us home. Let's finish it. And that's what I was getting just about to get into. Every single marker like this in the game, which you follow throughout the whole game, by the way, Faye actually walked it and set those markers herself. So weeks or maybe even months before her death, because the giants are gifted with sight and uh, future seeing, she walked that same path Kratos and Atreus would walk before she died. So it's pretty incredible, the story of of Faye and I really do and I really do pray and I know they will explain it better in the the next game. Look at all these giants. They're dead. Father. No. We do it together. Son. I think that's the first time he's called Atreus son in this whole game. Okay, just a personal side note, I think those ashes are enchanted with something. I'm just going to go ahead and say it. Goodbye. I honestly think that in the next game we will meet Faye. I hope. They really are all gone. There's nothing for us here. That mother was a giant, which makes me part giant and part god. And part mortal. Right. I guess there's just one thing I don't understand. My name on the wall. The giants called me... Loki? Loki. Dun dun dun! for another day let us go home so Atreus is Loki everybody guess it all makes sense now why she want to end up here be with her kind she know it was gonna be like this here? Is this what she wanted us to see? Did she want us to tell the people? Or keep it a secret? I do not know. So what should we do? I trust you to decide that. Oh. So why'd you want to name me Atreus? I know it can't be for a god. 
No. He was a soldier. A Spartan. A great warrior? All Spartans are great warriors. We train from birth. Our lives were discipline, duty, battle, and death. Life was grim, and we greeted it grimly. Mm. But Atreus of Sparta was unlike the rest of us. He wore a smile even in the worst of times. He was happy. He inspired us to hope that though we were machines of war, yet there was humanity in us. Goodness. When the day came for him to lay down his life in battle, his sacrifice saved countless others and turned the tide in our favor. I carried him home on his shield and buried him with all the honors of Spartan custom. His memory was a comfort in dark times. Wow, you actually told a good story. We here missed it. <laughs> so that is why Kratos named him Atreus. Which is a really good story, by the way. I mean, it's definitely one of the most uh, in-depth stories that Kratos has given. What would Loki do? That's a weird name. I'm glad we went with yours. <laughs> it was either a Atreus or boy. <laughs> Lads, am I glad to see you. I believe I've reached my limit for dwarven charm. What happened, Mimir? They took an uncomfortable number of measurements and then proceeded to bicker about the weather. Where do you want us to take you? <laughs> How about the warm confines of anywhere bloody else? So Mimir is with us. Alright. So now, uh, this is the end of the game, ladies and gents. We, we've beaten the game. And I know that there's a, there is a ton more stuff to do. But honestly, uh, I'm not going to do everything. So we're going to call it. Uh, this is going to be the final part. I may down the road do a Valkyrie run. Just to show y'all what the Valkyries are and what they do. And I might uh, show y'all how to get some upgraded armor in the future. But uh, I definitely had a blast with y'all. Thank y'all so much again for joining my channel. More or less plays to come. Uh, definitely when the next God of War is released, which they announced is next year, 2021. So I am definitely looking forward to uh, going through that experience with you guys. And, um, and of course, more to come. Uh, I'm going to try to get a schedule together for the channel just to kind of let you know what I'm going to be working on. And uh, time permitting and, you know, just things permitting, I'll also try to have at least multiple playthroughs going on a week. So I won't do, uh, I probably won't do like a straight playthrough like I did today or uh, not today, my goodness. Uh, can, I, can I leave? Just discussing the weather. Oh, I guess I gotta listen to this. Fimble winter's upon us, boys. The winner to end all winners. I can feel it in my soul. Yeah. We heard. So if you're heading home, try to keep moving. And also, ew. Or if you're not heading home, same advice. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Now, can I go home? Thank you. So, anyway, uh, like I said, I probably won't do, like, straight playthroughs, like, every day. Uh, I might try to have a schedule where I do something on certain days and then uh, play something else uh, uh, pretty much on the other days. So, let's go ahead and travel home. It's been a long venture, long journey. Oh, man. So, it's let's see... Well, we can do it at the I house. Yes, that's a terrible pity. Okay. Tell me again how Odin knew we were going to Yodan before we did. Odin is extremely <laughs> clever, you see. Nearly as Mom. clever as he thinks he is. And he's a collector of prophecies. 
If it's about the future, he adds it to his collection. Helps him style himself as all-seeing and all-knowing. But of course, the idea is control. Control of the future, control of his fate. He control every realm of every land in every world mm -hmm. that he could. Every potential pocket of resistance, he seeks to eliminate. Even if you've never posed a threat before, he may think one day you might. So you see, it's not important how he knew before you did. It's important that he was right. Odin sounds like the most paranoid dude on the planet. Feels like a lifetime ago. And just like that, ladies and gents, we are back where we started. Oh yeah, we gotta fix our house because freaking boulder. Okay, this will do. Yeah, you gotta fix your roof, Kratos. Sleep. Way ahead of you. Pretty sure they still haven't eaten yet. Just saying. <laughs> Good ball. Who might this be? Uh-oh. But we gotta wait till next year. <laughs> And just like that, everybody, the game is over. We gotta wait till next year, but hey, I'm glad that it's next year, not 2022, because I was definitely certain that the next game entry wasn't gonna come out till 2022. Uh, once again, thank you guys so much for joining my channel. This has been the first playthrough. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I know there's been a lot of technical issues along the way, but I think I have those just about ironed out, I hope. <laughs> More Let's Plays coming to you guys soon. Y'all take it easy and have Trails. a great day. Are you ready? Yeah, but I had the weirdest dream. Fimbo winter was ending, and Thor came for us, here at the house. It was only a dream. But it felt different. It felt real. It felt like the future. Then we will worry about it tomorrow. Today, there are still things we can do. Come. <laughs>